What's going on, guys? It's Jason. It's the Black and Rapper. Waka waka rapper. And um, <clears throat> today's video, I want to talk to you about two different types of people. Okay, so the first type of person, uh, they're probably the ones that you're surrounded with. You know, your neighbors, family, friends. Uh, these are the types of people that, you know what? They're okay with their lives. I mean, they they adhere to the 9 to 5 job or whatever their hours are. Um, <clears throat> they never make more than they need. They make just enough to get by. <clears throat> you know? Um, they have a pretty okay job. It's Maybe they'll like it. Maybe it's just okay. They've settled for it, you know? Um, they have a family, kids, good stuff. And um, <clears throat> they have a, an appreciation for just what they're able to get. And they're content with it. They're happy with it. I'll tell you something. That is the norm. You know, that's the way, that's the way that society uh, dictates as normal. Because that's how most of us are. And you know what? People, you could try to tell, tell those people... That you can make more money, you can own your own business, you can do this and that. But they'll say, oh no, that sounds like it's too hard, you know, too hard, too much hard work. Uh, sounds like more trouble than it's worth, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I am, I'm content where I am. So these types of people will never go for something like building your own business from home. And I'll tell you something, <clears throat> if that's how they are, then that's how they are. God bless them. There's no right or wrong, it's just a matter of preference. It's their lifestyle and they've chosen it, you know? And I, I give respect to them because I lived in that lifestyle for many years uh, until recently and I realized that that's no longer my thing. Now, here, there's, there's another type of person. Let's see if you can relate to this one. <clears throat> this type of person... <coughs> excuse me. This type of person has more debt than the average person. You know, the first person I talked about may have some moderate debt, but it's manageable. This type of person I'm talking about, the second type, has more than moderate type of, of debt. And they, they seem to struggle with it. And even more so, um, they, they either don't have a job at all, or they struggle with finding work, or they hate the job that they're in. And they don't know what... Uh, you know, where to go to, you know, what's, what's, what could be better than this, you know, because they hate where they are and they don't want to, they don't want to jump to another job because it's just another job. Um, <clears throat> and the debt that they struggle with that's more than moderate is the kind of debt that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's based on their lifestyle. Now, this, <clears throat> if this sounds like you, if this if you sound like if this sounds like you with the struggling with the finances part and the finding a job part or hating your job part, <clears throat> there's a reason for that. Those two factors are classic for the type of person that needs a different lifestyle. And the answer for that is being more free. Meaning having your freedom back, having your time back. You're probably creative. Or you probably making you, you probably enjoy like make you probably enjoy making things with your hands, right? Um, <clears throat> it could be a number of things, but you have more joy from being your own boss, from not having time constraints, not having spatial constraints. You know what I'm saying? Um, I realized that this was me. This was me because you know no matter what, I just can't get out of debt. I mean, it's it's more manageable now, but and, and I'm climbing out of it, but it's still there, you know? And as far as jobs are concerned, whenever I have jobs, I just, I don't enjoy it, you know? I, I may enjoy it for a little while, but I don't, I, I feel anxious putting my financial stability in the hands of an employer. I'd much rather have control of my own finances. And <clears throat> that may sound like you. Um... If you struggle with debt and if you struggle with, you know, enjoying a job or uh, <clears throat> maintaining a job, these are two classical signs that you need to be your own boss. You need to have your own business. You need to be able to have your own schedule because there is a higher calling on you. Now, 
that doesn't make you any better than the first person I spoke of. What that simply means is that you were made for a different purpose and it's okay to be different. The problem is, is that there's, that's not the norm. Okay, so you may get discourage, discouragement from other people. So that's a challenge. Being this way comes with several challenges, um, such as your environment, such as what's public, you know, publicly spoken about the type of work that you want to do. Uh, they may say things like, well, you're just lazy. You don't want to contribute to society, this and that. You got to learn to block out those, those, those thoughts. And um, <clears throat> you have to find a way to be able to work from home, to manage your own self, because your, contribu your, your contribution to society will be best done when you are able to fit in the place that you belong in. This is a different lifestyle and it requires more effort. But once you get into that lifestyle, all of a sudden, you won't struggle with debt anymore. And the reason why is because the reason why you're in debt in the first place is because you, uh, you, you know, you're spending based on how you want to live, but you don't have the income to reach to match that. Um, and, and the reason for that is because you're, you're bumping from job to job or you struggle with even finding a job because that's not where you belong. You don't fit in that, in, in that nine to five model. You belong in building your own business, preparing yourself, working for yourself. That's where you belong. And once you find yourself, once you fit into there, it will match your, your spending habits, your income level Will, ma will match your spending habits and everything will balance out. See, life is about balance, guys, and you have to learn to find that balance. If you're not like the first person I spoke of, then you're definitely like the second person. And if that's you, I want you to click the link below um, and download your free guide to YouTube to creating awesome YouTube videos. <laughs> and also connect with me on Facebook. Make me your mentor. Let me show you how I'm doing it so that you can duplicate my results, if not better. All right? I'm here to help. Uh, subscribe to my channel and like, share, and comment my video on my blog and Facebook and wherever you see this video. It's Jason, the blog rapper. Much love. God bless. Peace.